So there are a few different ways you can kind of assess whether you think you may have some kind of arthritis going on in the hip. So the first one is, do you hear some noises when you try to move your hip? Um, when you try to lift your leg up towards the ceiling, do you hear some cracking or popping um, or crunching going on in the hip? Um, also the mobility issue. So putting on your shoes and socks, so you're not able to bring your actual leg upwards to change your shoes and socks. That becomes very painful or and it becomes very stiff to be able to do that pain. You will feel it radiating into the groin area, um, usually with any movement with the leg going across the other leg or bringing that leg up into this position. Groin area, you might feel some general stress or pain and you might also feel some pinching in the groin as well. Increased pain with activity level. So if you notice that you're actually um, doing a lot of different activities throughout the day and you're just noticing you will start to feel more pain than usual. The stiffness in the morning, do you wake up in the morning and just feel like when you first get out of bed that your hip feels really, really stiff. So that might be a sign of hip arthritis. Stairs, so going up and down the stairs, um, bringing that leg up to the next step might pinch or cause that groin pain. Then you might realize as it gets worse that you're gonna have some weakness and then you have more difficulty going up the stairs. So normally we go up the stairs one foot over the other. You might have such pain that you can't even do that and you start doing two feet on one step and also pulling using your arm on the handrail a lot because you don't have the strength to lift that leg up to the next step. And the other thing is getting up and down out of a chair. So most people realize that more with a sofa or a couch because it's very soft and cushiony and you sink kind of into it and you need to really lean forward and push yourself up from the chair. So that would be another good self-assessment if you're noticing you're having more and more trouble getting out of the couch. The earlier that you start to address that, the easier it is to prevent it from getting worse and stop it from having a negative effect on you. Because the last thing we want is for anybody to end up needing to have a joint replacement or a knee replacement. So again, you can prevent it from getting worse, and that's really where physical therapy comes in. We can help you to be active, we can help you to have this arthritis in your joint, but have it not affect anything. And how do we do that? We make sure the capsule is doing its job. We make sure the ligaments are able to do as much work as they can. We make sure that the muscles are strong enough to make up for what the ligaments don't do, and that they stop all of that slippage from occurring. Muscle can be strengthened if strengthened appropriately, correctly, and in the right balance of each other, and getting your hip muscles along with your quads and your hamstrings, and undo the further effects that any arthritis would have. We can make sure then that muscles are nice and loose and, and stretched out the way that they need to be. All of that works together to stop all of that slippage, which ultimately is what causes the pain. Seeing one of our expert physical therapists, getting everything assessed, figuring out if it's arthritis, and then getting you doing the appropriate things for it, and we can definitely help you to get it under control and get back to living life and being able to do the things you want to do without arthritis causing you to have problems.